Hey everyone, welcome to an episode in the Rails API series. In this episode right here, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the sign out request. So in the previous episode, I showed you guys how to do the sign in request, then we get the token, then we get the token to make the subsequent, sub subsequent request. In this episode right here, I'm going to be showing you guys what we need to do when we actually sign out. So as you've already seen from the previous episode, um, you know, when we have a authentication token in our user and we nil it out, as in we set as a nil and we do save, it's going to auto generate a new token. So basically what we need to do when we um, sign out is we need to reset that token. And the way we do that is very simple. So let's first take a look at the code over here. So in this episode right here, we're just going to fill out this destroy action here. Um, so let's start off at with paw. So I'm going to head over to paw here. And so let's say here I have the sign in request. And in the sign in request, I make the request using the email and the password. And I get uh, on the right hand side here the response with the token in return. And then I use this token in the header. So in our sign out request, what I've done is I've got the token here and I've got the email here set in my header just like that. And so what we can do here is I'm going to make the delete request. Um, and basically the delete request is right now is returning a 404 because we need to fix our code. Um, but basically the delete request is going to be uh, going to this action here. So what we need to do is uh, we need to go into the route. So I'm going to head over to the routes file. And we need to change this from resources to resource. And what that's going to do is turn this into a singleton where we don't have actually to pass in an ID um, because, you know, usually when we do a destroy action, we need to pass in the ID so it knows which record to delete from the database. In this case, we're not actually deleting anything from the database. We're just going to take the current user because we only have one current user for that request. So it's a singleton rather than uh, having multiple. So that's why we're doing resource. And now uh, what I can do is I just have to send a delete request to the sessions controller in with the delete uh, HTTP verb, it is going to go to the destroy. So when we do this, we have um, the, you know, we, we need to do the current user. So we're going to have the current user object because we send the request with the token, with the token in the header. Uh, and we're going to set the authentication. So authentication. nil. And so what this is going to do is it's going to set it to nil. And then what we're going to do is if current user dot save, then we're going to return head. Okay. Else head unauthorized. All right. So basically what we're saying is we're going to take the current user and we're going to set the authentication to nil. And then we're going to save the current user. Uh, and then basically that's going to be um, that's going to be it. So what we can do is current user and uh, authentication equals just like that. So uh, if I head over into here and I make a request, let's see what happens. All right, we get a 200. And now if we head over into look at this, uh, the server uh, log over here, we can actually see that the toke token has changed. So now what's going to happen is if I actually use the same token, uh, it's not going to work anymore. So I can show you guys that. So let's say, for example, here, um, I'm going to head over into the code here. And then basically, I'm going to go to the contacts uh, and I have the buy bug over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the request using the old token. And I mean, if everything is working, we should not have the current user object anymore because we already signed out. So I'm going to head over into the terminal here, uh, go into the code. And what we're going to do is um, we're going to make the request to the contacts. So I'm going to head over into paw. And then basically, I'm going to create a new group here, call it uh, contacts. Um, and that's going to be outside of the session group. Like that. So in here, I'm going to make a new request, uh, you know, for um, index. So I'm going to name so HTTP local host 3000 v1 contacts. And then here, it's going to be um, the index. So contacts index. 
Uh, so I can actually group the request. So this is the beautiful thing about Paul. I can actually build my request, group it by controllers, and you know, it's it's really maps to the uh, code that we have really well. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make the request. So I'm going to go into the sign-in. I'm going to take the old token here, and I'm going to send it in uh, with the header. So x user token, paste it in, and then x user uh, email, zach at codemy.net. And here, what's going to happen is um, I'm going to basically send the request, and then it's going to go to buy bug. So I'm going to hit send. Um, and basically now we have broke, uh, you know, with uh, in debug mode. And if I do current user, it should be nil. And that's exactly correct because we sent in the wrong token. So it shouldn't be working. However, if I change the token, if I sign in again from the form, I mean, in this case, I have the access to the log. So I just copy the token out and I paste in. So let me just exit from here real quick. Return 500, no problem. But I'm going to change the token over here. I'm going to make the request again, and then basically it's going to go back into the you know the debug mode. And now if I do current user, we're back in. We have the current user object again. So uh, that's pretty much it for this episode. Uh, like this video, share this video with your friends and family if you found it useful. Also become a member. Um, the previous episode is the you know finishing off of the token authentication. If you haven't seen that, sign up to become a member. Uh, with that, I'm going to wrap it up and I'll see you guys in the next episode.